This is the OnePlus DR1, an April Fool's Day joke by a Chinese company called OnePlus that actually turned out to be real. It's also the smallest drone I've ever used. Hey, what's going on tech enthusiasts, BoHD here, and this is the OnePlus DR1, a drone that can literally fit in the palm of my hand. Now, it's not the smallest drone in the world by any means, but it's the smallest drone that I've ever gotten my hands on and ever used. Granted, I'm still kind of new to the rapidly growing world of drones. Now, like I mentioned, this was an April Fool's Day product launch, so it wasn't really intended to be sold to the general public, but uh, they did release a limited quantity and I did manage to buy one, um, but they sold out super quick in a matter of like minutes. Um, I don't think they were available for any more than like an hour or two. Um, but I did manage to buy one, and it came in this nice little box, as you can see here. It's as if OnePlus spent a good amount of time designing this thing and putting some thought into it. In fact, I'd actually be really surprised if I didn't see a bigger and badder drone from OnePlus in the near future. Maybe one with an HD camera attached to it along with a budget-friendly price tag. I think it's very possible. Now with that said, there were a few things included in the box. There was the drone itself, there was also a controller for the drone so you could actually fly it, and then there's a plastic bag filled with some extra goodies like some tools and some extra pieces. We have four extra propellers, two red and two white, a little proprietary USB charging cable, a mini screwdriver, and some landing gear. And that's about it. The controller is pretty small and requires two AAA batteries, which aren't included by the way. But to get this little drone in the air, it's actually very simple. You turn on the drone, and you turn on the controller, and they'll pair up automatically. The left joystick controls the throttle, and the right joystick controls the direction. You can activate flip mode by pressing in the little right trigger to literally perform flips in the air. This thing is actually pretty well thought out, and you can also adjust the frequency to make sure it pairs up right each and every time. The best place you're going to want to fly this thing is in an open area of course, so you don't run the risk of crashing your drone into something and rendering it useless. If uh, you're more confident though, a smaller place will be good to test your skills because flying drones is definitely not easy. I learned that really quick. So what do you guys think of this little OnePlus drone? It costs about $20 to $30 with shipping, but uh, like I said, they're all sold out, so if you guys can manage to find one, get your hands on one, um, they are a lot of fun, but I kind of wanted just to make this video to kind of gauge the interest level of drones uh, and see if you guys want to see more coverage of drones because, um, like I said, I'm kind of new to the whole drone scene, but uh, I find them super fascinating and I want to get one that has like a 4K camera and I can fly around and get some pretty awesome aerial shots. If you guys would like to see some of that footage or if you guys would like to see me um, get my hands on a more badass drone, let me know in a comment down below. If not, that's cool too, but either way, you should hit that subscribe button, which is located right down here for your convenience. Uh, I got some pretty cool tech gadgets coming your way that you guys don't want to miss, so definitely make sure you're subscribed. As always, I'm BoHD. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.